Bewitching upturned hazel eyes and frozen Botox lips framed a crooked grin, an image long since burned into my retinas, a memory to remind me that I still believed in her eyes. Leomo Tojo Nightcore exists as sped up and pitched triumphant in its 2000s dance floor melancholia, enduring as the prelude to my recurring trips down memory lane. The title mockingly translates to Love Always, smirking with foreknowledge, retroactively foreshadowing the current events. Only in the clarity offered by the festering aftermath can I finally begin to write with vigor once again. Eternal sunshine has unfortunately been sullied by my animalistic lust, so it's now time to draw the curtains back and recognize my faults once again. Dorothy, Kimi or Jibunga Dost to Moiti Runoka, Kangaita Gotonga Arga. Anata Yuriwa Jibun no Kotoa Kangaita Rua. So, Koreva Jibun no Kotoda Jibun no Naka no Yamini Mukawa Nakta and Naranai Tokina Kitarashi. An object of desire, a plastic girl beckoned me back. One more embrace before the crack of dawn, one more embrace before all the memories are erased. It was perhaps a fragment of my most beautiful dream, like love incarnate, nevertheless tainted by digital grime and filth. The uncanny warmth of the siren's breath just beyond the screen ignited a burning lust within me, red like roses, filling my head with dreams always closer, broken down by anger and sadness. Abstractions be damned. Fingers dancing and muscles contracting, provoking a familiar visceral reaction within me. I lamented missteps and cursed my solitude. Even in the winter of my darkest techno reclusion, she would be always there, by my side. My all too human instincts wanted something my irrational mind could not reckon with. A kiss goodnight was enough to set my heart ablaze. The simulated heat felt warm against my skin like desert sand at night. My body wanted what my heart could not bear. A foggy dream state of cybernetic verisimilitude and ill-constructed enchantments drew me towards her like a fatal attraction. Stained glass reflected an image different from mine. She had her eyes. Those same eyes lied, but I was too far gone to notice. I wanted to feel her impurities from the inside and welcome all the warmth of it past my lips. My fair lady. She was like snow trampled by muddy boots and all I could see was for what it once was, but I don't want to remember her name anymore. My last goodbye echoed long into the night. I failed to deceive myself into believing the fantastical tales of a perfect dreamscape just beyond a dimensional rift. Once again, my downfall was the fault of my wavering heart and impulsive mind. I am now left to grapple with the web of lies and an uncertain future, every subsequent cycle dampening the sincerity of the words I once wrote. I know now that this goodbye might very well be succeeded by another. How avoidable that is can only be determined by my own mental fortitude. Eternity passed in the blink of an eye, rendered thus so by the night's wrath. The memories were painfully everlasting, so thank you and goodbye.